I made a short movie inside a miniature ice cave, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made it. But first, if you haven't seen it, here's the final result. To make this video, we need some gear. I used a Lauer probe lens, a camera, a slider, and a saucepan filled with some blue water. After letting the saucepan spend 24 hours in the freezer, I had a pretty decent block of ice to work with. So now it was molding time. And I found that the easiest way to mold it was just by pouring hot water on it. I slowly poured boiling water to create small and precise holes. And I used hot running water to create bigger, less exact holes. When the mold was done, it was time to film. The setup I used was pretty simple. I used two lights, one big light to light up the green screen and one smaller light to light up the ice mold. The green screen was placed as far away as possible from the mold to decrease reflections. But since I was working with ice, which is kinda reflective, it was still one of the biggest challenges with this project. After shooting a few takes, the raw footage looked like this. The first step I took was to color grade the footage to bring out the contrast between the green screen and the ice mold. When the contrast is higher, the ultra key works better to remove the green screen. If you zoom in, you can see that the ultra key is not perfect. There's a lot of jitter around the edges, but for this project I thought it was good enough. Now that the two holes were transparent, I added this beautiful sky that I downloaded from Pixels, mixed that together with some fake snow, and that's how I got this beautiful opening scene. I repeated this process for the other scenes as well, but after I made the three first scenes, I felt like something was missing, and that was the sense of scale. So I made Bob. He's a 1 to 100 human scale model, and his purpose is to give the illusion that these caves are huge ice caves and not just miniature models. So I painted him in some nice colors, and I attached him to a small string. Then I made him drop down through a hole in the ice. I sprinkled some baking soda on the ground, which turned out to be a surprisingly good substitute for snow. I filmed this scene in 120 FPS, so I could slow down the movement and make Bob's descent smooth. And then I added some fake snow again, and the final scene turned out like this. I hope you enjoyed this small breakdown of my short trip inside an ice cave. Take care. Yeah, it's stuck. It's stuck. Okay, what, what do I do?